Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth video. So today we will be discussing advanced comments and your Vim config. So what do I mean with advanced comments? So advanced comments such as splitting panes, going through buffers, search and replace and so on. There are a lot of comments that you can perform. We already saw some of them like to quit the editor, to save the file. Um, now we go a bit further and we get a bit more advanced. So what is the difference between panes and buffers? They sound like similar but they are really different. So basically panes is when we split our window into multiple splits so basically for example you can have half of a window with one file and half of, an, uh, of the window with other file. Buffers um, is each file we open will remain in a specific buffer and can be accessible later. There is a buffer list where the buffers, the, the files, will be in queue and we can select them to, to see it uh, later on. Um, there is also the concept of window which is when we open a new window but I have here more of that later but it's I think that I will make another video explaining that because I, I, I usually don't use it size I use Tmux I mostly of the time I use Tmux for that but basically you can have like um, multiple windows and yeah so panes, we can split the window in horizontal panes and vertical panes. To split, to, to split into horizontal panes, we use the SP, so the two points SP command, which stands for vertical pane split. To split into vertical panes, uh, we use the two points VSP command, which stands for vertical pane split. We can also use the control WW to split between panes and we can also use the control double J which moves to the pane below. We can also use control WK which moves to the pane above. We can also use control double H which moves to the pane on the left and control double L which moves to the pane on the right. We can also use control W equal to resize all panes uh, to the same size. We can also use control W um, uh, less sign to decrease a pen, a pen size. We can also use Ctrl W plus sign to increase a pen size. Ctrl W Q to close the active pane. Ctrl W R to, to swap the pane to the right and Ctrl W uppercase R to swap the pane to the left. I know that it's a bit of stuff but we will see it in action later. Buffers. Buffers are just a list um, of uh, uh, just list all of the files we open. So think about it as tabs in VS Code or in IntelliJ, for example. We have some tabs in the top of of the editor where we can select the file that we want to work on. We can list all of the current opened buffers with two points LES. We can jump to the next buffer in the list with two points B next or uh, two points BN. And we can jump to the previous buffer in the list with two points B pref or two points B P. So these are comments to go forward and backward in the list of, of, of the panes. We can also use the ID of the buffer on the list to go directly to it with two points B1 for example or we can use the, the buffer name. So when we do two points LES it will list um, a list of, of, of buffers and it will have uh, the number of the buffer, the ID of the buffer and the name of the buffer. We can use them to switch between them. To delete a buffer from the list and close it, we use either B, uh, two points BD or two points BD and the ID or, or the name. So this is like uh, closing a pane in, in VS Code, like closing uh, a, um, a file in VS Code. 
you you hit the X sign and here you perform this command. So search and replace. This is a quite advanced topic. There are multiple ways to perform a search and replace. The most common one is to use the, the uh, two points has command, which stands for substitute. So we can do, for example, the um, the two points s uh, forward slash foo for, forward slash pair forward slash g. And this will search for each occurrence of foo in the current line and replace it with bar. We can also use two points percentage sign s forward slash foo forward slash pair forward slash g, where the percentage signs stands for current buffer. So it will basically search for all of the occurrence of foo in the, um, the current buffer and replace it with bar. And the one that I most use, um, it's two points percentage sign s forward slash foo forward slash pair forward slash gc. What this c in the hand does, it is it will basically ask us if we really want to um, to replace that that occurrence. So it will open a it will not open a dialog, but it will have a dialog that will ask us if we want to replace or not. So as I said, there are plenty of other ways you can use. You can also use a quick fix list to find all of the occurrence in all files in the project and replace it. For example, when you have uh, in Java, for example, you have a class name and you want to change the, the class name to another class name. So instead of going um, in each in each file and replace it, you can do the um, the search and replace and put all of the occurrences in the quick fix list, and then you can simply replace everything. But I will cover this in in a, a new video later on because it's quite an advanced and I want to go slowly so that you can understand it. So, before I go through this slide, let me show some of the stuff that we have been learning now. So, for example, I will open um, the video 4, which was the, the video. By the way, I, I, I didn't um, tell this in, in the slides, but two points E and then a file name, it will open the, um, a buffer with the file that, that you are specifying basically so this is a slide as always i use the the slide on that that i use it to to create uh, today's video so if we do uh, a split only it will make a split on the horizontal so if i quit this split if we do v split it will do it in the vertical okay so we can also do as I said control W L control W H which goes through pain or control W W which splits in each one okay we can for example in this one we can now perform a split and it will divide in 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 two this in this case it will be dividing two and we can also do it in, in, in this one split so now we have four we can also say to to make it um, bigger or, or, or smaller and we can also quit it so for example as, as, as I made now we can also quit with control wq and we can open it again uh, we um, split now for example in in this this one i want to open a new file i can do as i made previously and i can do 2.c video2.md for example to open the the video2 slides and here it is we have the video two slides. Okay, we can also, um, oops, 
we can also for example um, increase and decrease as I told it is decreasing the size of the pine with control W um, minus sign we can also do with plus sign okay we can also do with the equal which will make them uh, in the same size um, for search and replace now for search and replace let me close all of the pines because we will not need them for search and replace so before we learned for example this basic we learned that we can do this to find all of the occurrences of basic basic is not a good example so let me try to find two two it has a lot of occurrences so for example if we want to replace all of the occurrences what i usually do is like this so two points percentage s now i made two it's what i want to change and then i want to change to with two o's and then i do jc okay so now it is asking me if i want to replace this i don't want but this one i want so i want to replace it replace it this one i want i also want so yes i want to replace and this one i don't want no and to to finish it like i don't want to replace more i can press a q and that's it all of them are replaced so yeah it, it's like this it's 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 a bit overwhelming to to understand so that's why now i want to go back to the to the slides and why we should why should we use a config so as I, as I told, it's it's a bit overwhelming to memorize all of these comments. So, what if we could, for example, um, create a key map and perform that key map, for example, to 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 to, to perform like um, um, a split, a paint split? And the answer is with a config. So we can made we can remap. Um, without a config but it will not it will only remap for that session some of the maps are forever and other ones are only for that session but a config will help you will help us with that so basically vim it's highly customizable um, you can do almost everything that you want you can like perform a key map uh, we can perform visual expat we can um, inject other colors like you can create your own your own color scheme and use it and uh, with the vim config we can also install plugins to help us with a lot of things like fuzzy finder um, auto completion lsp i don't know to perform really almost everything you can do almost everything so to understand it better, um, I will jump right to my config, which is here. So now, instead of using of using the 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 comments that I that I show you later, I will use key maps and plugins. So, for example, if I want to see a tree of my directory, I have this plugin installed, which shows me everything that i have in this project everything so let's start with the init.vim so i'm using neovim and neovim doesn't use doesn't use vimrc instead it uses uh, init.vim it's the same thing but it's it's a different name so what i have here so basically in here i have I define a directory where where all of my plugins uh, will be installed, and then I'm calling the um, forget about these comments. It was it, it is tests that I'm that I've been ma making. So basically, this is the um, this is a, a, a um, piece of so software that I have installed. I will show it to you. It's the Vim plug. So basically, Vim plug will manage all of your plugins that you have. Instead of installing it manually, 
it will install for you when you first open the 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 Vim basically. So these are all of 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 the plugins that I have installed. For example, Nerd Tree is that this tree that I've shown you before, right? Um, what do we have more? Cock Vim, which I also have it here. Uh, here, it's basically it's like a VS Code feel like. It gives me auto completion. It gives me LSP support, and it gives me gives me snippets. It gives me a lot of stuff, basically. So, for example, I can do, for example, start um, writing a, a variable, and it will basically give me um, some suggests to to auto complete it, basically. And yeah, we have a lot of them. Um, this one are color schemes as I told you you can change color scheme um, and before I, I change the color scheme I have one which is the, um, the telescope so basically telescope only works with NeoVim but for Vim, native Vim you have fuzzy finder so both of them are here telescope it's from TJ um, this guy right here is really awesome. He's making a lot of work for the Vim community. And yeah, it's what I use. But this only works in the Vim. If you really want a fuzzy find like this, you have FZF. It's basically the same. It will have the same feeling. But it's not as customizable as Telescope. So with Telescope, we have a bunch more customization. But to show you, um, to show you fuzzy, um, telescope in this case, for example, I can show, I can choose a color scheme. Um, for example, I like, for example, Nord. Nord, it's a good team. Whoa, it changed it. Now let's try to one of the most uses, which is Grubbox. Grubbox is one of the mo most used um, color scheme in Vim community, which th is this. I really love it, but I've created mine. So Fox is mine. This is a color scheme that I created. I can link on the, on the comments um, this color scheme if you want to use it. Now, you can you have two ways to source your your config. You can do it with this execute source. Um, in this case, source it. This will since init.vim will be the first file that will be load. You can use a source to source uh, another files that are in in another folder or. Uh, Vim as um, a standard um, a standard directory that you can follow. For example, colors. As you can see, here is my my color scheme. Colors is like um, color schemes that you want to do it yourself. That you want to be available in Vim, basically. You have FTP plugin, which um, will work like. Um, for example, in this case, we'll work only in Markdown. So basically, whenever I open a Markdown file, it will execute all of these um, all of these commands for me. But just only execute in Markdown file, right? Uh, Lua, this is not for for is not suitable for Vim. It's only for Neo Vim. So basically, Neo Vim has um, uh, another language that you can use that it's Lua which is quite faster and it's better um, it's better but I use it mostly to make uh, some changes on telescope and tree seater tree seater by the way is like um, a way to um, uh, it's it's a, a syntax it will give you a, a better syntax side like thing basically uh, plug it in here all of my 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 plugins will be dropped here remember when I said that plugins are a bit of code 
that can be injected in your config. So basically, if I come here like close tags, uh, close tags as a plugin, as you see, it, it follows the same structure as I'm following here. FTP plugin, Lua, uh, everything follows the same structure uh, I, as I was following. So for example, close tag, here it is. Uh, as I said, a piece of code that other person done it that you can inject to your config. It's the same thing, right? Now, your custom plugin. So basically your custom plugin, it, if you put everything in this, in this uh, directory, directory called plugin, will be automatically load for all of files that 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 you are using in Vim. So the ones that I want to show you it's two. Forget about the other two is more advanced, but one of them is key maps. As I told you, um, you can key map um, you can key map stuff and uh, to perform a command for example i have for the buffers uh, control o which shows me all of the buffers and i forgot to show you uh, before the the buffers so buffers are 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 what you see now so i i i've opened all of that files and they will be in the buffer list so i can go through through them so for example i can do um, buffer next and I can do buffer prep, and it will basically go through through all of the buffers. So as you can see here, it's a good example. Instead of performing the 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 commands, which which is a bit of overwhelming, I can do Control O. I see the list, and I can do Control H and Control L, which go through all of the buffers. All right. So more maps that I have here. I have the, um, to create new windows um, to open the nerd tree I use control T which is this this folder structure you see here um, and a bunch of other stuff. I use to, to paint splitting I use these two commands so I, I use leader I, for, I was forgetting to, to, to tell you. Leader it's um, a key that you can that you can specify to perform like um, to perform commands that that uh, to to perform combos of of commands. So basically, in in my case, uh, map leader it's it's a space. So if I press map, you can see down there that 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 was waiting for something. So for example, if I want to 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 perform um, a vertical split, I do a leader, which is space, uh, lowercase t, and the uppercase t. Let's give it a try. So a space t and uppercase t, and it performed the um, the vertical split for me. So I don't need to do VSP. It basically do it automatically. And the other the other set of config that I want to show you is the set. So basically, sets are stuff that you can do to to visually change stuff in your in your in your in your editor. For example, if I do syntax off, so syntax off, it will it will not give me syntax. Let me put it again. Um, more what what. What can I show you more here? So relative numbers, as you can see, um, I have um, I have my, for example, in this case, I have the the line that I have selected. It give me the the um, the line number and all of the rest. It give me relative numbers. Why I use this? Remember when I said like previous videos that you can perform combos to go up and down. So for example, if I, I want to go to the set expand tab, I know that is nine, nine lines up. So I can do um, 9q and it goes to, to the expand tab. 
and and I can do 9j and it goes to the to the relative numbers if I want to 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 override this I can do select number oh wait, it's select no relative number yeah no relative number so basically in each set you have you can perform um, you can perform a visual effect with like for example set relative number but if you want to cancel it you can do it something like this set no relative number right so um, as I said before if you do it like this you you also have uh, auto completion if you press tab it will do it in in it will it will perform the comment but only for this session if I close the editor and start it again it will it will go to default so that's why I have this config offset so basically every time that I open my terminal it will read all of this file and it will perform all of these all of these uh, sets for for um, in this case for the, um, the session that, that I am um, you have plenty of them uh, I might do um, a separate video to explain what I'm using here and why I'm using this um, every one of them but yeah this is what I have for you now so you have a bit of, of intro on, on configs um, I might do a different video explaining I will do my config like for you to see what what and why I'm using it um, and yeah I hope you like it I hope it was helpful and yeah just subscribe if you are not already subscribed and you like my videos my content uh, I'll might do different con content from now on I'm, I'm thinking of doing a video about dependency injection and a video about some other stuff I have other ideas to to share and yeah um, tell me if you like it or not and tell me in the comments what what can I do to improve and yeah um, I see you in the next video bye